Mm. You're right. Oh my god. You were right. Morrison. It's not good. This is some of the best beef ribs we made. Today we are going to create what is maybe the craziest brainchild of a pitmaster. Because we are creating beef ribs hedgehog style. Of course, everything starts with a good cut of beef. And what we've got here is Black Angus green fat. Look at that intramuscular fat and you know it, it's so important. Plus, we got a lot of meat on our beef. This is key to the recipe that we're going to create today. The first thing that I want to do is get the elastins off. By taking off the fat cap and the elastins on top of the beef ribs, we're going to allow any spice mixes to penetrate the meat while we start cooking as well as the smoke flavor that we get from smoking. Of course, we won't be able to trim everything off. There's fat that runs down into the meat. We gotta leave that on. There's also a little bit of fat on the side. Don't worry about that too much. This is looking fantastic. Our beef ribs are ready to be rubbed. So let's create something special, something nice and beefy. To make this rub extra beefy, we're going to use one part salt, one part ground black pepper, one part paprika powder, one eighth part garlic powder, and one eighth part onion powder. We'll mix that all up and it's done. This is going to be a good beef rub. To make sure that our rub will stick to the beef ribs, I'm going to apply some olive oil. I'm going to drizzle it on and rub it in real good. Of course, we're gonna do this on all sides. Now we can apply our beefy rub. Sprinkle on a coating on the top first, then the back side, all of the sides as well, and then a final coating on top to make sure that we got that flavor profile. Our beef ribs are ready for the smoke. Time to fire up the barbecue. I put some charcoal in our Kamado Joe Classic, added a couple of fire starters, lit them up, and then when the coals are getting white and the starters are burned down, I'm adding two chunks of maple wood smoke wood, put in the heat deflectors, put in the grill grates, and finally put in these beautiful beef ribs. Close the lid and set the fence to the perfect opening. We want to achieve a smoking temperature of around 120 degrees Celsius, which is around 240 degrees Fahrenheit. The perfect smoking temperature. While we wait for our ribs to smoke, let me give you guys a quick update on the barn. We now have an actual wall on this side and this week or next week the roof tiles are going up so that's super super exciting but we also can get a little bit of sense of what the inside areas are going to look like how big they are what we might be able to do with them and this is the first inside area we got a really high roof so all of the smoke can go up of course we need some vents to, to suck it out but the area is big enough to have, have at least one barbecue setup in we also got a little bit of kitchen work in the back nice black wall behind us and this is the second area also very high ceilings perfect for letting the smoke out this is going to be freaking awesome guys can't wait to have this thing finished being able to barbecue in it once our beef ribs had the beautiful smoke color, we took them off the barbecue, wrapped them in butcher's paper and let them continue to cook. Now they're almost done and it's time to start working on our barbecue sauce. The base of this sauce is ketchup, we're going to use a half a cup of it. To that we're going to add a quarter cup of maple syrup, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, two teaspoons of ketchup mayonnaise, otherwise known as sweet soy sauce, good beef rub. And finally I got a little surprise for Morrison. It's Lyle Tate's Black Trickle and it's made from cane molasses. Seems Morrison really enjoyed that. I'm adding about two teaspoons of that. Now we'll mix that all up and let's see if Morrison likes it now. I think it's about time that I start explaining what this whole hedgehog beef ribs is about. It's actually not my idea, it's my wife's idea. She came up with why not make it into a nice candy treat like burned ends, but then like a fun serving 
well, thing you know you can bring to classroom and give it out as a treat or a, at a party. And I thought, well, there's something there, and it's stuck in the back of my mind until this moment, and there just has to come a time that you just have to give it a try and see if it works. So that time is now. We got perfectly good beef ribs. We smoked them, we cooked them to perfection, and then we let them rest for an hour. So these things are ready, ready to get scored. Let me show you how I'm going to do it. Of course, the first step is unpacking our beef ribs. Man, these things look good. Beautiful bark, looks plenty juicy. Let's start slicing into them. We want to make cuts with one and a half centimeters distance, which is around a quarter inch. Make sure you don't cut all the way down to the bone, otherwise your beef ribs are gonna fall apart on you. Oh, these beef ribs are juicy. Now let's put some barbecue sauce on. Get all of it on there and make sure it drizzles down in between the cracks. And it's ready. Time to put it on a grill again. I set my barbecue to a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius. That might seem a bit high, but we're not looking to cook our beef ribs. We just want to get that little bit of caramelization on top of it. So we'll close the lid and wait until some dark spots appear on our beef ribs. Now we'll take some mini bamboo skewers and stick them in our hedgehog beef ribs. It looks weird, <laughs> but this could really work. Let's give it a try. Let's see if we can pull one off with a Hey, 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 it looks way too easy. Maybe let's try another one, just in case you think it's a setup. A little bit more pull, but still we can manage. It, it, it works, sort of. Dude, of course. Let's figure out if it tastes good. Mm. You're right. Oh my God. You are right. Morrison. It's not good. This is some of the best beef ribs we made. No. I'm not saying it yet. Come on, no. say it. No, I'm going to eat another one. No, no, you know it's true. Because with, of the sauce. With all, the, all that sauce. No, because of the sauce. Honestly, I did not expect this. That syrup, it was like, um, really is something else. I really, really enjoy this. This is, this is like mind blowing food. I was looking at it while you were eating and I was like, no, nah, that can't be good. It's too sweet, it's too sticky. But this is amazing. Once you bite into it, it's like your whole mouth starts salivating. I'm not a big fan of sweet barbecue sauces and sweet things on the barbecue in general. There's something about the rub, you know, the, 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 the texture of the rub in combination with the sweetness. Because of you, you made it in burnt ends, it's just, it, it has like a crispy texture to it. I love that. Actually, right now, I just have to swallow because all my taste buds are, are tickled. All, all of it is just boop, 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 like activated. So I'm gonna eat another one. I feel activated, Martian. You, you don't lose anything of the, the flavor of beef ribs. It's still there and I love it. This is the best, best party trick ever. The chickens are coming in. Everybody be quiet, otherwise no samples. I think you're a kind of... Um, Looking at a problem for you here. I think I'm gonna eat them all myself. When you eat a whole beef rib, you get tired of it re really quick. I think it's the perfect balance between saltiness and sweetness. And maybe it's even better just because it's a little snack. Let me give you my quick thoughts. A, great party trick. B, fantastic flavors. C, it's beef ribs. They're fantastic. We got good smoke flavors. We got juiciness. We got everything you're looking for in beef ribs. But serving them up like this, what if you have friends over? Oh, well, you can't, it's Corona time. Just imagine having friends over. When is this Corona thing gonna stop? Well, imagine the year 2021 20, and you're having friends over, you're drinking beer and you're serving up a beef rib hedgehog. What, what about that one and a half meters? How am I gonna fix that problem? With the distance, longer sticks. One and a half meter bamboo skewers. That's the problem, that's how we solve it. Well, I enjoyed it. I'm just gonna take one more bite. One more, just for the go. So let me finish off that video and oh, hope it let go. Let go, let go, let go. It's gonna let go. Oh yeah, without the knife. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then you know what to do, right? Big thank you to all of our patrons and YouTube members. You guys freaking rock, but you know that. No, 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 no. No, Mr. Rooster. Thank you guys. 
It's very much appreciated. We couldn't have done it without you. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, eet smakelijk and... Keep on grilling. Keep on... Beefruit. Hedgehog beef ribs. Hedgehog beef ribs. That's right. Mm. They're really good. Yeah, really, they really are. Good. Ah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So, how about those uh, one half meter bamboo sticks? I don't know. I have to uh, AliExpress. Yeah. Alibaba. Let's do that. Let's call Mr. Um, Mr. Um, the guy with the black uh, black and white suit. What? Mr. Panda. He knows about bamboo. <laughs> That's corny. You never thought. With that syrup, this is going to be this good. No. When you tasted that syrup, the syrup was horrible. It was so funny to see your face. You were like, "Wow, what's happening to me? What did you do to me?" You know, uh, and it, it's like from, from from the origin of that syrup, you have to put it on bread, right? No, no, no. Okay. Because no. 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 It's oh, a, I thought it's people put it on the bread. No, it's like ketchup You don't put it under your bread. You add it to something. Okay. It's then, like then I can understand the. Uh, it's something concept. you add to pudding and stuff like that. Hmm. I don't it's like balsamic. It. It's like for candy condiment. Okay. Well, I don't like it, but it adds up. It adds up. To In the sauce, sauce, you yeah. liked it. Yeah. See. So yeah, D uh, don't get spooked by my reaction. Don't worry about what Morrison thinks. Leave it to the pros. <laughs> Don't look that offended.